What's up guys? So today we're going to be trying unique candies we found at Five Below. This one's from Ross and the Mr. Beast one's from Walmart. So we're going to be tasting all these. Let's get into it. Alright, so the first candy we're starting with are these cow tails right here. Got these from Five Below. Well, this one's caramel and this one's caramel brownie. Smells like a brownie. You want to show yours? Chocolate in the middle or caramel, I think. So here's mine, similar to Lauren's, lighter in color and white in the middle. I've never tasted anything like this. It has like a weird texture and like flavor. It tastes like brownie, but it just tastes like kind of like a Tootsie Roll. For mine, I have tasted something like this. When we went to Old Town in that video, we got um, homemade taffy from this one shop and this tastes pretty much like that. It's really good. I really like it. Try yours. You say that you haven't tasted anything like it before. It tastes similar, but obviously not brownie. It doesn't taste like caramel though. These are really good. I definitely recommend this. What is the calorie on these? This one's 120. This is 110. The Chico stick is 90 calories, so a little healthier than those two. Crunchy peanut butter rolled in toasted coconut. Uh oh. This one's starting to flake off a little bit. It looks like a churro. It smells like peanut butter. Yeah, it's very distinct peanut butter smell. Memphis. I'm not really a fan of it. I love peanut butter, but I don't like it only because when I'm biting into it, it's getting all stuck in my teeth. It's good, but it's not for me. I'm in the same boat as her. Um, it's a little dry. It kind of reminds me of tree bark. <laughs> all right, we'll get these out of the way and we'll see what's next up. So this is the next one. It's a Yoohoo flavored chocolate bar. And I personally picked this one because I love Yoohoo's. So I'm very excited to try this one. You have had the Yoohoo drink? You yeah. Said? I've never had this and I've never had the Yoohoo drink. It's just like chocolate milk oh, basically, right? It. You're lying. I've never had it. I've had like Borden's chocolate milk. That's such a liar. I'm not lying. I've never had Yoohoo. I haven't had Yoohoo's chocolate drink. This would be my first Yoohoo thing, which is a candy bar, which Lauren's never had. One fourth of the bar is 170. I can't believe you've never had Yoohoo. Mm. Yoohoo chocolate bar. I like this. I'm a fan too. It doesn't taste like the drink though. I kind of like this better than Hershey's. It does have a similar taste to Hershey's. Well, it does taste a little better. Next, Next candy. candy. Next up, we have Zagna. This might be known to people. To us, it was unique because we haven't seen whatever Zagna is before. It's a candy bar. It's peanut butter, right? Crunchy peanut butter toasted coconut. And it's 200 calories for the whole bar. We'll see how it tastes. We've never had it. So it's the same flavor as that Chico stick peanut butter and coconut. It's the same texture. It just looks like a really big Chico stick. Oh my gosh, it's so messy. It's a big, <laughs> it's a big Chico stick. Yeah. Hopefully this tastes good though. It's flicking crumbs everywhere. It basically is a bigger Chico stick, but it's more flavorful. I like it a little better. Probably because it's bigger, so they can fit more of the filling in the middle. I do like peanut butter, but I, I'm not really a fan of this texture. It's kind of like sawdusty, yeah. which is not what you want to hear when you're eating, but that's the biggest thing I can compare it to. I like peanut butter with chocolate. Next candy. So this next candy I also picked out because I love Jello, and I've never seen this, and it looks like it would be good. I don't know, so I wanted to try it. There's four cups in here, and it said all four were 210. So let's ask the mathematician over here how much is one cup? So 210 divided by four is gonna be like 52.5 or something like that. Oh, they're so tiny. That's crazy. That's 52 and a half calories per cup. even bite it yet and it just like all scored it out. Thoughts? It doesn't really taste like pudding, it just tastes like melted chocolate. I'm not a huge fan. I thought it was alright, but I definitely preferred the Yu one. It just kind of tasted plain to me. I don't know what I was expecting, but I, I didn't really care for it. Alright, this is definitely an outlier. We had to throw this in there because we didn't know what this was and it sounded weird. Boston baked beans. What's the calories on this thing? 13 pieces for 70 calories. That's not that bad. Yeah. If it's like chocolate covered peanuts, that's alright for me, but it's red. It's red and that name just sounds weird. Boston baked beans. Beans. Like imagine beating a pinata and uh, Boston baked beans pop out. <laughs> we'll see how this tastes. Bet your beans. <laughs> it doesn't smell like anything at all. That's because all the flavors contained in one little small bean. <laughs> <laughs> They're all running away. Here's the Boston baked bean. Oh, I did have like a weird flavor at the end. 
It does. It almost has like a almost like a minty flavor. It like tastes good at first, and all of a sudden this weird flavor comes in. It tastes like peanuts, but that ending, I don't know what that is. I think we're both in agreement there. That ending flavor throws me off. It's like you bite it first, you break through, you get kind of a chocolatey flavor, then the peanut comes in, and then you're about to swallow. You get hit with this minor minty flavor. That's the best way I can describe it. It doesn't taste minty to me. It just tastes like weird. All right, we're moving on to the next candy now. This one should be a lot better. It's Snickers brownie. I've obviously had a Snickers before, but not brownie Snicker. This is 180 calories for two servings, 360 for the full thing. It's 180 for two squares. We're gonna have one square at 90. I can already tell by the way it feels that's gonna be really soft and nice. Yeah, it's squishy. Ready? That wasn't as flavorful as I thought it was gonna be. I thought it tastes like a brownie. It doesn't taste like a brownie at all. And the peanuts are really small. Yeah. It wasn't bad by any means, but the packaging definitely throws you off. Mm -hmm. I don't even think it tastes as good as like a normal Snickers. Come on, this looks like it tastes amazing. You see that? The normal Snickers taste way better. I don't know why it doesn't taste that like great. And the chocolate kind of tasted a little weird. Not hating, it was decent, but we let love, down. We love Snickers. All right, we're moving on to the next candy now. So the next candy is this Nerds Rope. I think it's the original. I've tried this before. He hasn't, so I just said let's get it because I really like them. 90 calories. It does say on the package, tear and share, and that's what we're gonna do. There you go. It's messy. I like nerds, so obviously I like this. That thing in the middle definitely threw me off at first a little bit because I wasn't expecting that. It's like this red kind of gooey thing. Jelly. But it's not that bad. I think I'll prefer regular nerds, but this is really good. All right, next candy. Next up, we have chocolate hazelnut wafers. We got these from Ross, so this is one of the outliers, and we got it a while back, but they're still pretty good. And we have had these before, but only a few. Two wafers is 130, 65 for one. There's one for Lauren, and one for me. I don't really like them because it feels like I'm eating sand every single bite. I am a fan, I like it. I do get what she's saying. The texture is kind of like sand-esque, but for me, the flavor is just really good. I'm, I'm a fan, so we disagree on this one. Now on to the next item. And you might be wondering why we said item this time. That's because it's not a candy. It's an energy drink. Bob Ross. Positive energy. No flavor, so <laughs> we don't know what it's gonna taste like. Maybe the flavor's positive. And if it's not very good, as Bob Ross would say, we don't make mistakes. We have happy accidents. Exactly. So this might be a happy big accident because it's 160 calories in a can. That's like a soda. Let's try it. It's blue. It's sizzling. You hear that? What the heck? Good, bad. It's all sizzling in my mouth. It's like pop rock drink. What is this flavor? I don't know what this is. I'm not gonna lie, it tastes like I'm drinking some like clean chemicals. It is hard to describe. I don't know how to describe it. It's like weird. It kind of tastes like a stale big blue. I don't know. That's not the best description, but that's as close as I can describe it as something I've had before. One thing that did kind of tip us off that this might not be the best is that the wrapping of the drink, I don't know if that's the right term, but it's like not done well. It's like peeling off a little bit. But when you see a Bob Ross drink, you have to get it because who the heck knows about a Bob Ross drink? I've never seen that before. We did get it. You probably won't again. <laughs> It's, it's not that great. Like I said, it tastes like a stale soda. On to the next drink. And I know the intro to this video said unique candies, but we found these unique drinks. This is just boba, but I've never seen it in a can sold at the store. I don't know if you guys have. So I'm excited to try this. And yeah, I know you're looking at that because the calories is really weird on this. The calories are insane. It's 268 for that. This is 16 and a half fluid ounces. It's also really weird that it's 268 and it just rounded up to 270 for some reason. The brand is Pocus. It's made in Taiwan. Whoa, it didn't even open. <laughs> yeah, this side open thing. Don't cut your finger. It's, it's not that great now. Don't recommend. But I want to find the little balls. I'm probably at the very bottom, but I don't even hear them. I haven't seen any come out yet. Oh. There we go. I want to try it. <laughs> I definitely don't want to try it now. What is that? Oh my god. It's bad. No, the, it doesn't taste bad. The texture is so bad. It tastes like I'm literally eating like a fish, like the skin <laughs> of a fish. Why does it have the texture of that? Like scales? No, like skin. Like when you bite into it, it feels like calamari. Like when the, new, the fried mm. stuff isn't on it, it was like. Yeah, it does feel weird. 
It tastes like something came off of my mouth and I'm eating. Yeah, I know, like skin from your mouth or something. Yeah, I don't like that. No, I don't want any more. It does taste like boba, it just kind of tastes like not very good boba. That's all I can describe it as. It kind of tastes like boba with like 20 ice cubes that all melted in it, so it's like watery boba. Here's our next thing, the soda can fizzy candy. I might have had this, I'm not sure. We saw it at Five Below as well. We're gonna try it. We can't see the calories until we open it, so we'll see what they are. I'm excited because it looks so cute, the little cans. We're gonna have to grab a pen to stab this thing. They're so cute. Why does it say fizzy though? Like, what does it do? So we got lemon lime, cola, orange, two grapes, and two limes. So I'm just gonna leave these to the side. So I wanna try the Coca Cola first. Okay, I'll try the lime. All right. <laughs> Why is it spitted up? Uh, it is a little fizzy in my mouth. It does taste uh. kind of spritey, but weird. Ew. Let me try one of those. Oh, the Coca-Cola is not good. Why is it like a little sour? That tastes like just those lime packets that you put in your mouth. Okay. I'm trying the cola one now. No one tastes weird. <laughs> it's weird. You, you get that Coca-Cola flavor mixed with like sourness. It does not taste like Coca-Cola at all. I taste it a little bit. No. All right, we're both doing the orange fizzy gush. This one tastes like orange. That one actually pairs well with the fizziness. Okay, I'm not a fan of grape at all for any candy, but I'll try it. Like Lauren said, I'm not really a fan of grape stuff, but it is what it is. It tastes like grape. I was gonna say, I think we can rank them and I think we're gonna agree. We're thinking orange number one, grape number two, lemon lime number three, yep. and Coca-Cola number four. Orange is the winner, but I wouldn't really ever get this year. No, it's made in China. If I was going to the store and somebody bought me this, I would ask them to get me something else. <laughs> <laughs> They're cute. Like the packaging is cute. That's why I wanted to buy them. Subscribe if you want them and I'll send them to you. And subscribe even if you don't want them. On to the next candy. Icy spray candy. Cherry. I'm kind of excited because I do like cherry ices. No calorie count. Maybe it's diet. First ever diet icy. Open wide. It tastes like a cherry icy, but I don't know if you want to be doing this all day. Let me try. Why is it sour? I, I can taste the cherry ice. I wouldn't recommend it. It does seem like another kind of meme one that you would just get to show your friends mess around with. So if you want to do that, I recommend it. But if you want a good treat, I wouldn't recommend it. But isn't it so cute? Here's our next item. And this one is the cookie dough bites. This is fudge version. So I've tried the cookie dough bites, which it says cookie dough, but instead of it being fudge in the middle, it's cookie dough. I haven't tried these ones double chocolate fudge brownie. But I really love the cookie dough ones, especially when you freeze them and then eat them, they're really good. So I'm assuming these are also gonna be good. And 20 pieces for 130 calories, that's pretty good. Here's how it looks, my hand. I would say I probably prefer the cookie dough in the middle more than the fudge. Yeah, I wasn't a huge fan. It's like, again, like, it doesn't really taste as strong as you think it's gonna taste. I can see why it's 130 for that many pieces though. It's definitely something where you just get a whole handful of them popping in your mouth. Yeah. So the next item we have are these little bottles. I think it's a drink. It says Crybaby Sour Mini Drinks. This one is good if you're on a diet. I don't know if you'll want this if you're on a diet, but this is 10 calories for not just one, but for all four, it's only 10. So it's- All four? Yeah, 10 calories serving size, four bottles. I don't know if you can read it on there. Does it taste like anything? Do I eat this? Oh, does it just- <gasps> <laughs> It just sprayed everywhere, what'd you do? <gasps> I just twist with the top. <laughs> All right, you gotta be careful with this one, it's projectiles. Ooh. This one was like the exact same flavor as that cherry icy, just maybe a tiny bit more sour. Mm -hmm. I'm not a fan, and it's really messy. <laughs> okay, we're, we're gonna need to get some napkins. I'm gonna go wash my hands real quick. I'll be right back. <laughs> uh, I'm not really a fan. It's, it's not as sour as those two, but really messy. Flavor's not that great. It tastes like those, that cherry icy, but even worse. That's definitely my least favorite so far. Yeah, that and the soda can. On to the next can. Cocktail classics for jelly beans. We got gin and tonic, margarita, mimosa, mojito, Moscow mule, pomegranate cosmo, pina colada, and strawberry daiquiri. This is 110 Ooh. for 27 pieces, and there's no alcohol in it, so we didn't have to show an idea or anything. I want to try the mimosa. So the orange one? This is mimosa. 
Why does it have an alcohol taste? <laughs> well, it's supposed to taste like that. I wasn't expecting that though. It tastes like orange alcohol. Well, that's basically what a mimosa is. But it doesn't taste like orange juice. Yeah, it kind of tastes like... It's just synthetic orange and it has a little bit of that alcohol flavor to it. I think the worst part about it is you're like not knowing what to expect. Like, is it gonna taste exactly like it? Is it gonna taste kind of like it? I'm having flashbacks to when we did Bean Boozled and they tasted terrible. So every time I bite them, I'm just like, please don't taste like socks. It's weird though, because I wouldn't just go eat these. Like, they're not that good to where I'm just gonna be like, I want some jelly beans. Yeah, this is definitely another like kind of party, meme candy that you show yeah. your friends. I'm not really a fan of the pina colada one. It tastes like perfume. And not that I've eaten perfume. It tastes like perfume smells. My favorite was the strawberry daiquiri. Lauren's favorite was the pomegranate, but we do have the mojito last. Yeah, we gotta try all of them, so. Just like toothpaste. It does. On to the next item. I am really excited for these. The cookie pop nutter butter popcorn. This looks good. One and one fourth cups is 150. Reminds me of caramel popcorn. It's pretty good. Here's how it looks. It has like a kind of the nutter butter stuff on it. Yeah, I like it. I like it pretty good. And our final item. The one you've been waiting for. D's Nuts. Mr. Beast Feasible's D's Nuts. Milk chocolate with peanut butter. Grass fed milk. It's only seven ingredients. Cane sugar, organic cocoa butter, organic chocolate liqueur, organic milk, peanut salt, and organic vanilla powder. A lot of organic stuff in it. Half a bar is 180. Is it gonna have a Willy Wonka type golden ticket in the middle or is it gonna have $10,000 in it? I guess we didn't get the lucky bar. It's melting. It melted a little bit in the car because we went to Walmart and we went to Five Below. This is from Walmart. Share on one side and devour on the other. We're gonna see how it tastes. Yeah, I like that. It's a, it's a good chocolate bar. It's definitely similar to like Hershey or something, but it does taste a little different. I was gonna say, even if I didn't know this was Mr. Beast bar, I think I would still like it. I, I really like it. It's, it's a little different from Hershey's. I don't know which one I prefer. I would need a Hershey's bar here to really um, compare them. <laughs> I do want to try his other flavors, the milk chocolate and then the original. And I saw he had some cookies, but we didn't see the prices or anything because it was just like off by itself. Go try it for yourselves. That's all I can say. Yeah. And maybe buy a Hershey's alongside and see what you like because it's hard to tell. But that was it. That's the last of it. I'll take one more bite of this. Number three, I probably have to say the Chico stick. I don't know, I wasn't a fan of it. Number two, this, just because it's hard to open, which already makes me not want to drink it, and it just doesn't taste that great. And the number one would have to be the soda can, no. All right, I'll go with my bottom three now. I'm gonna throw out a little bit of a different thing. This might be unexpected, but I'm gonna have to go with the Jelly Belly just because I'm not really a fan of the consistency and I also don't really care to eat something where I'm like kind of guessing what it's gonna be. And after I did know the flavors, I just wasn't a big fan. I'm sure the donuts are better and other flavors they have. Number two, the soda can. Honestly, like the flavor's not terrible, but it's just like such a weird thing to be eating. It's like fizzy in your mouth. The flavor's not the best. And it's just really weird. And then number one is definitely this for me. I don't like it. it. Like the taste isn't the worst thing in the world, but it squirts everywhere. It's messy. Dang. <laughs> and the taste is not that great. So my top three would definitely have to be the Jello pudding cup, the nerve rope, and then the Yoo candy bar. This is good. You should go try this. I really like it. My top three would definitely be the Cowtails caramel flavor. That was actually really good. Number two is kind of hard. I'll go ahead and say the popcorn. This is pretty good. Mm -hmm. And number one, I'm agreeing with Lauren. I really like this Yoo bar. Try this if you had it. I hadn't even tried this. Uh, milk chocolate. I'm gonna have to go try that. I was upset now. And a little sneak peek into one of our next videos in the future, maybe one or two videos after this, is gonna be the Bean Boozle Challenge. Are you excited for that? Kinda, but I also don't want to throw up. And just a sneak peek before the video comes out, these are the flavors we're gonna have to try. Liver and onions or cappuccino, old bandage or pomegranate, rotten egg or buttered popcorn, toothpaste, berry bloom, Barf or peach, stink bug or toasted marshmallow, booger or juicy pear, dirty dishwater or birthday cake, stinky socks or tutti frutti, and dead fish or strawberry banana smoothie. I already feel like throwing up here in those. <laughs> I remember the one that was super nasty was that dirty dishwater one. No, that was terrible. The one that got me was liver and onions. 
Oh my gosh, I remember almost throwing up from that. That was so bad. It says, <laughs> it says new on here, but I remember trying it. So we're thinking we're gonna ask each other questions about us, and if we don't know the answer to it, we're gonna try one. And we're also gonna do questions, probably like general knowledge stuff, maybe the US history or something. If you wanna comment below any questions you want us to ask each other in the video, maybe general knowledge or just, I don't know anything, we'll put it in. If it's not super weird and bad, comment below. That's it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Hopefully you saw some candies in there that you wouldn't normally see and maybe you'll go out and buy some. Five Below is a good store to find all of these things because that's where we got it from. I'm sure they're pretty similar throughout the country. So thank you all for watching. Bye. Bye.